exterior de España. English Language Service. Greetings from Madrid and welcome to the English Language Broadcast of Spanish National Radio, where we bring Spain to you through our shortwave broadcasts. I'm Amy Egan and joining me later on today's broadcast will be my colleague Marilyn Quintana. Now, this is my first broadcast of the new year, 2024, and on our last broadcast of 2023, our colleague Justin Coe said goodbye. So, I'd like to begin this year wishing him well in his early retirement. And now, in this dawn of a new year, this January 3rd, I'll ask you, dear listeners, do you remember the 21st night of September? The protagonists of today's broadcast certainly do. Set in New York in the 80s, Robot Dreams is a mute animated film directed by Spanish director Pablo Berger. This film's main characters, a robot and a dog who become best friends, explore love, friendship, loss and memory, all without saying a word. My colleague Marilyn Quintana spoke with the director about the film, which has won the award for Best Animated Feature Film in the European Film Awards and is also nominated for four Goya Awards. Sony, uh, animation is such a powerful media and I think the audience miss the, the power of animation. They're really mi missing a big part of a great way of telling the story of the cinema. And after that, the region of Catalonia in Spain is going through what is considered to be its worst drought in history. Exceptional measures are already being taken to reduce water consumption and new measures are on their way in the new year. Marilyn will speak to Samuel Reyes, director of the Catalan Water Agency, to learn more about it. All of this after the year's first newscast. <laughs> Japan, the new year began with the worst earthquake in a decade that so far has left 64 people dead. In Ukraine, Russian missiles struck the first two nights of the year, and in Gaza, Israel's offensive is approaching the three-month mark with over 21,000 dead and nearly 60,000 wounded. in Spain is celebrated with champagne and 12 grapes, one for each strike of the clock and for 12 months of good luck. In Madrid, around 300 people rang in the new year outside of the Socialist Party's headquarters and beat a doll shaped like Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez with sticks. <laughs> This is how we must deal with him, says this protester. The Socialist Workers' Party has been debating whether or not to press charges, but it's uncertain if they have a case. The Socialists began stating that this was a hate crime, but as a subject of this violence is not a part of any minority, but the Prime Minister of Spain, experts say that there is no such thing as a hate crime in this situation. The man who called the demonstration over social media belongs to the Revuelta Collective, which works in the orbit of far-right party Vox. He testified in front of police on Wednesday. The socialists have criticized the opposition People's Party for not being quick to condemn the protest. One of the great points of contention against the newly re-elected Spanish Prime Minister is the amnesty law for jailed Catalan separatists. It's currently continuing its path towards being fully approved as this Wednesday was the last day to propose adjustments to the bill. The debate over the new adjustments proposed by right-wing People's Party and far-right Vox will be next week, but both proposals are expected to fail. The Spanish government has agreed to work towards the redistribution of underage migrants arrived in the Canary Islands. The Canary Islands off the coast of Africa currently hosts some 4,500 miners in dozens of centers that, according to the regional authorities, are collapsed. 
The distribution of these boys and girls to the rest of Spain's regions is crucial to guarantee them schooling and a dignified future. Not only have these miners survived the crossing of the Canary Islands route, which is one of the most dangerous routes into Europe, but they are also fleeing instability in their countries of origin. Consideramos que es una tendencia, la inestabilidad.